Okay, so I'm going to uh, use my Shimmer Light Shampoo from, uh oh, I'm always doing that, from Clairol. I'm coming to the end of this bottle, so I added a little bit of water to it. Uh oh, I'm gonna cover my machine here. And because I, I wanna show you guys how I do this, normally I would do this in the shower. But I'm not in the shower because I wanted to show you what I do when I am in the shower. So I'll put a little shampoo on my hand and I smooth it through my hair. Now, when you're using heavy butters like uh, mango butter and shea butter, it is important to get your hair clean, right? You want your hair and your scalp clean. So now if you notice, I'm not doing this deal and I have my hair sectioned like this just to make it easier um, to manage and to keep it from tangling up while I'm trying to wash it. But what I want you to see is that I'm going to concentrate on my scalp so I'm going to pull my hair taut like this and give my scalp a, a good massaging to make sure that I get the shampoos into it. To get all of the product off my hair. Um, when you're trying to experiment and find out which product works best, some of them can leave a buildup, right? If you don't really know how much to use or if you like it or whatever, it can leave a buildup on your hair. So I want to make sure that I get that off. So this is a sulfate-based shampoo. Um, I have both. Since this channel is about restoring my, my natural gray, then I'm using a shampoo today that is specifically for blonde and gray hair. And as I said before, the reason I'm pulling my hair taut like this is so that my hair at the root does not begin to wind around itself, which is typical. Um, for my type of hair, when it begins to hold water um, like it's supposed to, it starts to shrink. So I don't want it to shrink <laughs> because I don't want it to tangle. So I'm just doing this right now, pulling it through to the ends. And remember that the ends of your hair is the oldest part of your hair. So you want to make sure you get that really clean because it's the most fragile as well. It's, 
when your hair is breaking and snapping when it's in transition like mine. Um, that's usually the part that'll break and snap first or where there's a difference, a point of demarcation between your new growth and your processed hair is a very weak place and it'll, your hair will also snap there as well. So, okay. So there you go. I'm just going to let that sit for a minute. It's my hands again. This stuff is purple, so now everything needs to fit. <laughs> and I will be back in a second. Uh, well, I'll be back as soon as I get this rinsed out, okay? <laughs> 